Hi friends. So today I want to talk to you about why does God allow this? Like, why is this kind of stuff happening, the coronavirus, and is God a part of this? Well, first of all, yes, God is a part of this. But how he's a part of it is really the question. Is he directly willing this? I don't know that. You don't know that. I had a person come up to me in the grocery store the other day and saw that I was a priest and said, God is causing this in order to bring our nation back to him. And I said, I don't know that. And you don't know that, right? So there's a thing called his direct will, where he directly wills things. But there's also a thing called his permissive will, where he allows things to happen like a natural disaster or a virus, but it's not something that he causes. And then we have to get into the reason, like what are God's reasons for even allowing things to happen? And I think there is a difference between the reason itself and the effects, right? Because I think there can be multiple reasons why God allows something like a tsunami, and but multiple reasons or effects uh, uh, that God is hoping will happen as a result of allowing something to happen, right? Uh, Bishop Robert Barron uses a, a great image. He just uh, put this out recently um, in one of his social commentaries on the coronavirus. And, and, and the image is one of a chess player and chess board, specifically masters. Two masters are playing. And you know, when uh, their minds are so complex that they're always looking ahead like two minutes or more, uh, you know, like maybe 10 minutes or more, they're looking 10 moves ahead, right? They're anticipating their opponent and the opponent's moves. Now, can you imagine that some of the masters not just do that in a two-dimensional way, but they do that in a three-dimensional way? They, they have like three or four games going on stacked on top of one another. And they're always anticipating the effect of the opponent, uh, the moves that they make. Okay, now take that with God's mind and, and just stack that up a million or millions. So... God allows things to happen in our lives, right? But the reasons for those are, are intricate, are, 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 can be millions of them. Not just one, like, uh, you know, uh, God wants you to change, and then he's going to uh, smite everybody else in order to get you to change. No, that's not how he does things, right? But he might have not only millions of reasons, but hoping for millions of effects upon people's lives, right? So, for instance, in my life, uh, here we are, your life, we're, we're living as uh, monks in many ways, you know? We, we've returned to the monasteries of our homes. And what God is hoping in this time is that the effect it will have is we'll draw closer to Him, which is our whole reason for being in this world. I'll give you an example of that. You know, for me, uh, I imagine for you too, I'm just running at 10,000 miles an hour uh, normally. And uh, I, I try to maintain a good prayer life. I, I do my morning prayers and I pray the Mass and so on. But there's been a book that I've been trying to get to. In fact, it's, it's a retreat. It's, a, it's 40 days of retreat for a priest. And I've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. Well, here I am in the monastery of my home. And guess what? I picked up that book and it's having a dramatic effect upon my life and my relationship with God. It's, it's a causing me to go deeper into Christ in a way that I've been desiring for a long time. And there's a tool available to me. Now there's time available. Did God make the coronavirus for this to happen? No, absolutely not. But God is in the midst of this, calling me to a deeper relationship with Him. But He's also doing that for you. And He's doing that for your spouses and for your children and for your families and for millions of people across our world. We're all in this together. God didn't cause this coronavirus, right? God is not the cause, for instance, of evil. He's all good. And this good God is in the midst of what we are in the midst of right now with us, calling us to our purpose. And our purpose 
is to draw closer to Him, to prepare for a life of heaven, and to prepare more and more others for a life of heaven. In my next video, I would like to address some of that. Until then, I see you later, friends.